The state of Kansas is warning homeowners about the silent killer in homes, also known as radon gas. It's colorless, odorless, and tasteless, but it's definitely not harmless. 41 Action News reporter Emma James explains what you need to know to keep your family safe. I think most important for the peace of mind and for the benefit of long-term health. Overland Park mother Grace Tan recently learned her home has high levels of radon. She called in clear conscious radon to take care of it. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas. You can't see it, smell it, or taste it, but it's everywhere on Earth and usually found in soil. It works its way into homes through cracks and crevices. It's the second leading cause of lung cancer deaths behind smoking. Our body doesn't handle uh, radiation very well. It damages our cells. Jason Mantic with Clear Conscience Radon came out to Tan's home where he says the radon was getting in through the sump pump. Her home tested at 4.3 picocuries per liter. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, anything more than four picocuries per liter needs corrected. The Johnson County Extension Office says people in Johnson and Wyandotte counties need to be especially vigilant. Our radon levels tend to be above that four. The average radon level in Johnson County is 5.3. Scotts County average is 4.9, which is the same for the state of Kansas. Johnson County Extension agent Denise Dias says for that reason, the state is making a big push for change. The only way to know is to actually do a test in your home. Just because your neighbor may or may not have radon is not an indication if you have radon in your home. Dias says every county extension office is selling test kits that can be mailed back for results. She hopes people will follow Grace Tan's lead and be proactive to keep their family safe. You can choose to ignore it, but that's not realistic. In Johnson County, Emma James, 41 Action News. Experts say even if you test for radon in your home and it comes back low, you should still test every few years.